All right, guys, I have everything tightened down. Again, we're gonna go positive. That's my main power coming into the motor and my starter. This right here is the ground and it's also a ground into the motor. So we'll start with negative to positive, negative to positive, okay, I'm good. Negative to positive is good, negative to positive, negative to positive. This little panel right here is two screws, so you have to pull that off to tighten everything down. But I will show you, and you may not be able to see it, but right here on that bolt, or the nut, I was tightening this one and the back of the wrench hit here and when it did it put a spark and it scarred that nut. So if you didn't know, you can take a battery and reverse it and you can actually weld with a 6 volt or a 12 volt battery. I've done it, however your batteries don't last very long at all. That's only do that in a pinch, but I do not recommend that. I was messing around and figured out how to do it. I'd seen other people do it, so I wanted to try it myself, and yes, it did work. But we don't want to do that. All right, for these batteries. These batteries are a die-hard, 225 amp hour, 115 minutes at 75 amps. And this is my uh, series number, or your group number, which is Golf Cart 2. That's what that is, Golf Car. These are deep cycle, rechargeable batteries. All right. So I've got everything plugged up and this battery over here needs attention too, but it just runs some lights. So I normally just uh, hook up the battery charger to it, let it charge, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes and I've got lights when it gets dark. So we're getting ready to do a trial run right now and I'll bring you guys along for that here in just a minute. So we'll shut this back, make sure my screws are in, okay. They just screw in the plastic, they're okay. Everything's holding it down. I got my seat back on. I have sprayed some WD-40 there and WD-40 here. This right here is the linkage for your forward and reverse. And it goes opposite right there. So if I wanna go forward, and I don't know if I can reach it talking, and I can't, but to go forward, maybe I can move with my hands. It goes the opposite way down there and I cannot do it with my hands. So I put some WD-40 on that. I put some WD-40 on all my terminals. And that's just to keep them lubricate, lubricated, trying to keep the rust off of them. All up here on my terminals. All these batteries are the same. I've read, I don't know how many reviews saying that if one battery goes bad, you can't just replace that battery. Uh, because if you try to replace just that one battery, it affects the others. I do not know how that works. I've not tried it. I didn't want to try it. So I just wanted to go in ahead and, re and uh, replace these. So I replaced all six of them. So now we'll shut this down and get on the golf cart, back it out, and we'll get out here on the road a little bit and we'll drive it. And so you guys can see that it does work. <laughs> 